Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 12 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about thresholds, anti-aliasing, and curves. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the threshold plugin. So if you go and open any image, just find an image online that you can find. Um, so you can just type in beach and then just go ahead and open that with GIMP. So now that you have that open, what we're going to do is we are going to use the Threshold plugin. And the Threshold plugin separates your lights from your darks. So go up to Colors, and then you're going to go down to Threshold right there. And you'll see here it separated the whites from, or the lights from the darks. And you can adjust this and get more dark in there or get more lights by going this way. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. So the thing about threshold is that if you zoom in, you'll see there's a lot of aliasing going on. And if this is your first foray into a graphics design class, I'll just quickly go over, for those who are learning graphic design and GIMP at the same time, I'll just quickly go over what aliasing and anti-aliasing is. So if we go over to these images here, you'll see here that this image right here is currently aliased. You'll see that there's more pixelation there. And then here on the right, you'll see the anti-aliased version. Now, here we're going to zoom in this five times that one on the right and you'll see here that there are different colors slowly graying out. Now the eyes will smooth that out. You'll see if we zoom out a little bit you'll see that it starts to smooth. And on this one if we zoom out a little bit you'll see that the eye corrects and smooths it a lot sooner. This does use computer memory but in now you know, today's time it doesn't really matter. But uh, that is, whoop, got the threshold tool. But that is what aliasing is. And aliasing actually happens um, with like tires when you see the rims and they're going so fast that they start to look like they're spinning backwards that's a different type of aliasing but it's the same general idea also if you look at say a stucco wall if there's so much pixelation it can cause some weird warping that's also another form of aliasing going on and so the brain just corrects by having anti-aliasing turned on um, you can have your images look a lot smoother. The same is true with text. So the text on, say, your iPhone is aliased, and that makes it so that it looks you know, pixel perfect. Let's go ahead and go back to our image. And so, like we said, with Threshold, we have a lot of aliasing going on here. So the way to correct that is to use the Curves tool. Oh, hit Cancel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our layer and we're going to duplicate it. Now we can right click it right here and we can do duplicate layer right here or we can come down here and hit duplicate layer right here. So I'm just going to go down there and click that. So we have the beach copy over the first layer. We can hide that or we can just keep that open. It doesn't matter. We'll use that layer for later. After that's copied, we're going to go over to color and we're going to hit desaturate and that'll remove all the color equally from our image. It doesn't matter, you can just go average here, luminosity or lightness, doesn't matter, just hit OK. And then what we need to do is we need to adjust our lights and our darks because right now we're really, our lights are even with our dark and neither one of them are really just popping out at us. So let's go ahead and go up to colors again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to curves right there. We're going to click curves. And these two dots that we're going to create right here, we're going to pull one down right there. As you'll see that it's getting a lot darker. We're going to take this top one. Actually, we're just going to take a new one. We're going to pull it like that. And you'll see that there's a lot larger transition there. So if I turn off preview, you'll see that was the original. I click that and you'll see that the darks and the lights are much further away from each other. And by further, I mean the dark scale it goes much darker and then the lightness goes a lot lighter. So again, I can click preview there and see that they're a lot closer together, but then here they really pop. I'm going to hit OK. You can set these don't have to be perfect. You can just set these kind of this one right up there a little bit, ramps up, and let's pull that one. No, we want it to be really, there we go. And then we can go ahead and hit OK. Now if we zoom in here, you'll see that there still is some aliasing, but it's not as much as the original. And we still we have a lot more of the detail in here. So I said we were going to go back to that color image. So what we're going to do is we're going to add kind of a cool filter effect here. We're going to take this beach right here, and we're going to drag it right up the color one. We're going to drop it on top so it's covering the gray part. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change this mode normal. We're going to change that to burn. You can see here we get this really cool antique looking 
antique I don't know that that's a word. We get this really cool antique look because it's, now if we turn off this below, you're not gonna see that. But if you turn that on, then you're gonna see that image below or some of that color will come through. If we go back to mode on this top color layer, oh, don't lock it. We're gonna go to, let's do another one. Let's try color. You'll see that there's that other cool faded old school looking effect. I just think it looks really cool. And then there's one more that I think looks really cool. You can mess around with the types of layers, you know, what these layers will do. But uh, let's see, what is another one that we wanna do? Hard light, that's another one that I think looks good. Right there, look at that cool, you get that dark midnight blue right there, and then you get that aqua uh, color with the, um, with the front of the water. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. I have programming tutorials, technical tutorials, and I'm also working on a SketchUp tutorial series. I do 3D modeling for a living as my day job. And so that series is gonna just be awesome. And there's gonna be tons of stuff that you will learn from that. I hope to see you in the next GIMP tutorial series. And if you have any specific suggestions about something you wanna learn how to do, just make sure to leave those in the comments. Make sure to like the video. And again, thank you and have a good night.